Today I'm preparing to cut the template or create the template so that I can cut the material that I'm going to lay on top of the wooden floor. I'm going to use this kind of a rubber material and I want to cut one large piece so that I don't want to say it's waterproof but because there's going to be holes for plumbing that go through it but anything that spills on it we'd be able to clean up nice and easily and it would not soak the floor for an extended period of time. So right now I'm creating the template I'm using the floor and I'm extending using paper and extending the uh, kind of the floor to extend the template so it goes up the sidewalls a little bit. So that's what you're about to see. I probably could have measured and just made it five inches larger all the way around. But for some reason, I was trying to be accurate. So I went around and taped paper around all the areas and the shape that I wanted that plastic floor to be. The only place it wasn't extended was where the shower stall was going to be because that's where the stainless steel shower pan is going to be installed. Then out comes the floor. I trace the template I made with a Sharpie and I cut it out with a utility knife. I place a scrap two by four underneath to protect the knife's blade. After that was done, I swept everything up, folded it, and dragged it back into the van. After placing it in the van, I made some cuts to form fit it as well as I could. Over the next day, the heat of the sun will help mold it into place. So that's it for today. The black plastic floor is in. It still needs some smoothing out and some trimming, but I'm gonna let tomorrow's heat from the sun help mold it in shape before I work on it anymore. After that, I have to put the frame in for the sink and oven, the two seats, and the back wall, and then drill through those frames, through the frame wood, into this plywood, through this black plastic. Then I'll remove everything again and put T-nuts in the bottom of the plywood floor. Then I can go back, reinstall everything, and bolt it all down securely to the floor using those T-nuts. And that way I'll know everything's secure in case there's ever an accident or fender bender, all of this will stay in place and won't come flying across to the front of the vehicle. Hopefully you've already subscribed. If not, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. Let people know that you like this video. And hopefully you'll see me on the next one. Thanks for watching.